Thank you, my friends, for joining me on this evening, or perhaps it's not evening when you're practicing this, but this is a class where we come to rest, reset, stretch, and restore. So the pace of the class is very slow and gentle. We take our time. And I would like you to gather some things to make this as comfortable as possible, as nourishing as possible. So I have a few friends here with me. First, I have a scarf. Um, a lot of us don't have much yoga equipment in a studio. We'd be using a strap or a belt, but I'll tell you what, a scarf or a strap from your bathrobe or dressing gown robe um, will do just fine. Anything, anything that's a long piece of fabric so that we can catch the foot and have a nice gentle restorative stretch. Um, I also have some blankets. So the thicker the better. I have a nice real thick, this is actually yoga blanket. It's a really thick cotton blanket. So it's quite firm when I fold it, which is nice. And I also have a nice spongy knitted blanket. And that's really just to put over the body to keep me warm. Then I have a chair. So you might not need a chair. You might have a sofa. You could always use a bed if you're in your bedroom practicing this. Or even if you have a, a piece of wall space. I don't have much wall space here. Um, so I'm going to use a chair to come into an inversion at the end. So just to put our legs up and get the legs elevated above the heart. Also, I have some cushions and some pillows. So these are just from my sofa but you are welcome to use the ones from your bed. And two is best, have as many things around you. Even if you don't need it, better to have it ready. So pause this video if you need, go get your things and come and join us. So also I'd like to say that I'm gonna share a link below in the notes of a playlist recommendation on Spotify. If you use that, um, I've created a playlist called Restorative Yoga, and I'll, I'll share the details below. Um, it's really nice, just calming, relaxing music, or if you put anything on, something that's soft and gentle to bring you into that place of ease um, and peace, whatever you want. So let's get started. I would like you to get started lying down on your back. So whatever props are conducive to making you feel most comfortable. So maybe that's a blanket. Have your uh, fabric, your scarf, or whatever you're using nearby, and then let's get started. So you're gonna come to lie on your back, and I'm gonna choose to put a pillow underneath my head. You might even choose to put a pillow beneath your knees so that you have a little bit of support. The legs aren't completely straight on the mat. And if you have a yoga bolster, you can use that as well. And I'm gonna actually take this other blanket and put it on top of that pillow just so I have a good, decent amount of height there. It's in place of a yoga bolster. And then I'm just gonna give my tailbone a little tuck so that there's some space in the lower back. By all means, your legs can just be straight or you can even keep the knees bent. And I'm gonna rest my hands on my belly for a moment. Settle in, relax the shoulders, close, your, close the eyes. And let's just take a few moments to center in with the breath. To feel the breath, the belly, beneath your hands. Rise. Filling and falling, softening. Feel the belly rise, filling the breath all the way down to the base of the lungs. And then let it go. And I also invite you to take a sigh as you let your next exhale release. Tuning into that sweet nurturing flow of the breath. And then slow the breath down even more. Take your time to really fill the lungs. And take your time as you release the breath, as the breath escapes from the mouth, either in a sigh or through the nose. 
slow out the breath. And just for the next few moments, really cultivate a deeper breath. So feel the breath expanding into the side body. Feel it really pressing into the boundaries, the edges of the lungs. Same for the front and even the back body. Feel everything release. Maybe even feel the navel drawing back to the spine. Let's do that one more time. A really big breath, really pushing into the edges and then hold the breath when your lungs reach its fullness. Holding and with that audible sigh, letting the breath go. And then returning to a softer breath. A slower breath, but a soft breath. And maybe you're starting to notice how life is beginning to slow down. As we move into this space, everything that has happened before this moment eventually fades more and more into the background. The more we tune into this moment, the more we show up to what is happening now, the rest and everything else seems to fizzle and fade out. I'm not saying that it's not there, that it's not happening, but right now in this moment, all that is in our mind's eye, our center of attention and focus is just the breath and the body softening. The sensation of our body lying here on the ground where our heels touch the floor where the back of the pelvis, the shoulder blades, the elbows, and the back of the head meet the ground. Maybe you even feel the t-shirt, the clothing that you're wearing moving against and across your skin as you breathe. Settling into this moment. Eckhart Tolle says, life is what is happening behind the life situation. Our life situation isn't the life that we should connect to. It's the situation. And go deeper. Sink in more deeply with more awareness, more attention to the now. And that is the life that is happening. It is only in the now, in the present moment, that life truly exists. What is happening here with the breath, with the body, tune into that and keep tuning back to that. Every time you do get distracted, which will happen, every time the mind is busy, be patient and be gentle with yourself. Stay, breathe, Reconnect back to the now. Okay, my friends, let's take a deep yawn. Reach the arms up and overhead. You might even lift the ribs off of the floor, a little arch the back. And then let the back return to the floor. Bend the knees, take your feet to whatever prop you have. Let the lower back become flat again. And then hug your arms around your knees, a little rock from side to side. We're going to come into a bound ankle pose. So we're going to take our feet to the floor. You might even take them onto the prop. Sometimes it's nice to have the feet elevated a little. Let the knees drop open here. Good. Now if this is really strong and your hips aren't really ready for this deep opening of them, then use your props, so maybe a blanket and a pillow, to support the back of the knees and the backs of the thighs so that the legs aren't allowed to drop open to their fullest capacity, and that there's a bit of support. And I'm actually gonna swap, so I have two props that are the same. The two pillow cushions are the same, and I'm gonna bring that other blanket underneath my head just to give me a little pillow. 
Rest your hands on your belly. Let your shoulders drop back and drop back into this moment, back into the now. Feeling the lungs softly expanding. And set a little reminder that this is your time, your space. And that this space is valuable, it's precious. You are doing exactly and all that you need to do. And even if your mind is busy, be patient, be kind, be compassionate with yourself. And sometimes it's even good just to let it run, let it run, 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 run. And eventually the mind will get tired. The stiller you become, eventually the mind will gravitate towards that still. Sometimes it just has to spend that excess energy that it has. We can help, we can facilitate that stillness. If we just come back into what is happening now in the body, to our senses, the breath. Maybe even tuning into the sounds, the noises that we can hear around us without judgment, without reacting to whether we like the sound or not. Same with sensation, not reacting to whether it's a pleasurable sensation or not. Witnessing, observing, just noticing what is happening in this moment. And watching it unfold perfectly as it is perfect in this moment. Perfectly in its place. We'll stay one more moment here, just letting those hips open, the knees are heavy. Take a nice deep breath in. Hold it for a moment and a big sigh. Use your hands at the back of your knees. Draw the knees in together. Give them a nice big squeeze into your body. And then let's grab our scarf or whatever we have. Moving the props out of the way. And we're going to hook it around the right foot hooking it around the palm of the foot, if that's possible. And then we're gonna inhale and extend the leg up into the sky until the leg is straight. And then exhale, bend the knee, release, and drop. Inhaling again, extend the leg up to the sky, and exhale, bend, release, relax. Two more times, inhaling to extend, straightening the knee, and exhale, release. And then this time we'll hold. So we're going to extend the leg, release all the way up to the sky. Try to come into a position where the knee isn't bending, the leg is straight. Get the back of the neck nice and long, so that's why it's sometimes valuable to have some support, particularly if you're really tight and rounded in the shoulders. The left leg might stay bent, or you can even extend it down the mat, pressing the back of the thigh more and more into the floor. Close your eyes. And I like to have my hands as close to the foot as my arms will reach. And then the shoulders are still in contact with the ground, so I can really let the weight of the arms sink back into the shoulder blades, into the backs of the shoulders. So I'm just almost hanging here. And don't worry, if your leg looks like this, perfect. It might not be completely vertical. Never try to copy. Just feel with what is in your body, stretching into the hamstring. Go into the breath, be present. 
present with that sensation that you're feeling there in the back of your thighs. Let your breath and your awareness expand into that even more. And on the exhale, let there be a, an invitation of a softening, of an ease, a letting go. Expand the awareness and the breath into the sensation you're feeling. You might even feel it starting to dissolve slightly, to soften, and as you exhale, let it be an invitation to let go, to release, to relax. And let's take the straps or the whatever you're holding with the left hand. And then let your right arm just come to the floor. It's not needed in this moment. And we're going to draw that leg just a little bit over to the left. So across the body, not so much that you're rolling off of your right sit bone and right hip. Keep the back flat and level to the ground. Mm -hmm. Just taking that leg across. Beautiful. Settle into that. Breathe into that space. Softness on the exhale, letting go. An inhalation to expand and spread the awareness into what you're feeling, into the moment. And then inhale, bring the leg back to the sky, switch hands. So the right hand's going to hold. And then we're going to let the left arm drop, and we're just going to make a little circle first. We can bend the knee more here. It doesn't have to be into a deep stretch. Just bending that leg, making some circles one way, and then the other. And then start to make that circle bigger. Start to increase the circle around even more. In the other direction. Catch both hands with the strap, pull in just a little more deeply, and then release. Take the foot out, release that leg all the way down, let it stretch, place it by your left, and just take a moment to observe, to notice, to feel the difference of the right side with the left. It might feel longer, it might feel lighter. Just notice what you feel. And then let's start that again. So we're going to bend the right knee, take the left foot into the band, ball of the foot enters, hips heavy on the ground, make sure they don't stay lifted. Then inhale, we're going to extend that leg, feel into the back of the hamstring, and then exhale, release it. Let the foot drop. Inhale, Extend the leg straight as you can and exhale, bend, release. Inhale. And exhale. Two more times. Inhaling. This is great for the knee joint. This is great to help warm up the hip flexors, the hamstrings. And then we'll hold here. Flexing the foot, draw the toes back, heels lift up to the sky, walk your hands as far up the strap that you can, whilst maintaining that connection with your shoulders on the floor. Settle the hips even more heavily into the ground. Maybe the right leg is straight, uh, is bent, or maybe you do straighten it down the mat. If it is straightening, press the back of the right thigh to the ground and make sure that doesn't pull your lower back off the floor. Sometimes we're really tight in those really deep internal muscles of the hip flexors, and when we straighten the right leg, it arches our back in turn. And if that is happening, bend the right knee. You'll feel the lower back comes back to a neutral place on the ground. And softening here, deepening the breath. Softening the shoulders. Breathing into that sensation. 
breath awareness, letting go of any fight, any kind of tension that you're creating to get into your deepest stretch. See if you can make this a little more restorative. So we're releasing the leg, but we're not pulling or yanking. We're trying to cultivate a sense of letting go, of unwinding, of gentle release of the day. And cultivating the stillness through the breath. One last breath here. And take the straps with the right hand, take the left arm out, and draw the leg across just a fraction. Again, we're not rolling over so that the left hip lifts, keep the left hip rooted. Take the leg across. Not a spinal twist, just a nice opening for the outside of this leg, maybe the hip, but you might feel it here on the calf. If you want to feel more, you can activate the leg more, push the foot into that strap, but slow the breath. Keep checking in. Where can I soften more? What can I surrender in this moment? And then inhale, bring that leg back to the sky. Take the left hand over to the straps and just start to make some circles. Little, little, little ones to begin. The right hand can just rest. Little circles. And then taking the circles the opposite way. Mm -hmm. Make those bigger. Start to circle that leg really big. And reverse in the opposite direction. Good. Draw the leg back into the body. Both hands come on to the band, the strap, the scarf. Inhale, and as you exhale, we're going to lift the head and shoulders, maybe, or maybe we just stay down and just draw the leg in a little deeper, whatever you did on the left side. And then release, unstrap the foot, extend the leg, release the strap again, take it more. And let the arms open, just letting the body settle to the floor. In Shavasana, just feeling what we've just cultivated through that practice, feeling the release of the body, the release through the stretch. And slowly bring the knees back into the chest. And take your feet back to the floor. Roll yourself over to one side. And let's use our hands to come all the way up. We're going to prepare for a little restorative twist. So using your yoga bolster or using your pillows. I'm going to set my two pillows up as such. Just stacked one on top of the other and I can always add blankets. Have your other blanket nearby to cover you if you're in a place that is chilly. You want to be nice and warm and cozy. And I'm going to start by getting a little bit closer. Now, if I had a big, long yoga bolster, I'd want my hip to be touching the yoga bolster. And I actually might just make this a little bit longer as my cushions are a little bit shorter by adding another blanket. There we go. I might even add another one to make sure that I have a lot of height here. Good. Doesn't look pretty, but hey, we work with what we have when we're at home. <laughs> so my left hip is coming to this setup of props. Now my legs are, my knees are bent and my feet are kind of behind me, like I have a mermaid's tail. And I'm sitting side on to the setup that I have. And then I'm gonna turn, bring my hands either side of the cushion blankets. 
And I'm gonna lift up out of my lower back, lift up through the spine and start to turn so that the center of my chest is aligned with the center of this setup. And then lie down, center of the chest, fold to the center of that so there's a twist in the spine. And then I'm gonna reach my arms forward wide. And then I'm just gonna settle here. And I'm trying to find that I'm really supported that I'm in this twist, but it's supported here, that I can really rely on whatever is below me to hold the body. So I'm not relying on my arms. You shouldn't feel like you're using your arms at all. Just let go. And if your legs don't feel comfortable in that position you've chosen, you can play, see what they need to do. Do they need to open a little bit more? Do we need to stack? What feels good? What feels releasing? We're not looking for a deep stretch here. It's more about the release. And that rotation of the spine is very nurturing for the vertebra, for the discs, for the nervous system. Take a few moments to scan the body, just releasing and letting go. Anywhere we're still holding, any muscles that are still active, Contracting, engaging, just dropping into that place of effortlessness, of stillness. And let's take some time here. Close your eyes, follow the breath, let go of a sense of time. And the more we're in the moment, the more we're really fully here, show up to this moment. If the mind is really still strong, and if you're trying to bring yourself back to the moment and it's not working, just let the stories of your mind play. But don't get attached. Don't get involved. Don't communicate back. Don't feed. Just allow them to spin. Allow that play movie that is in the mind just to play out and watch observe like you're in the seat in the movie theater just watching the movie on the big screen not participating not acting in not playing a role but just to stay be comfortable relax be at ease. Take another deep breath here, maybe a gentle sigh. Slide your hands back, press into the ground. Turn your head back to the middle and slowly lift yourself up. And you're gonna rotate around to the other side. So shifting your hips over, setting yourself up near the edge, the end of those props. Taking your hands either side, so you're framing it, facing it. Lift up, 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 out of the waist, turn the chest to the center, rotate the spine, and then lie yourself down. Turn your head to the same direction as your knees, the arms come forward. And then I'm gonna turn my head just so that you can hear me as I speak. But you can always take this twist, looking in the opposite direction as your knees is quite intense. So if your body doesn't feel ready for that, please do just look the same direction as your knees. Check that your arms are completely relaxed. And I just found that resting my hand under my head felt really nice. So maybe that's a way you can support yourself. 
in this practice, it really is, in all practices, really unique to you. So don't be afraid to try something different, to experiment, to really show up to what the body needs in this moment. And let's take a few moments here just to settle in. Feel the breath, feel the sensations of your body. Expand your breath and your awareness to what you feel. And let the exhalation invite some letting go, softening, surrender. returning back to the breath. Take a deep breath in. And gentle sigh. And turn your forehead back to the middle. And slide your hands back so you can press into the hands to slowly lift yourself up. Now we're going to turn away from that set, leaving that set there as it is. And we're going to lie ourselves over the cushions, the blankets whatever's there for you. Make sure your butt is still on the ground, your hips are still on the floor. Turn the palms of your hands open and just let the arms drop wide so the chest is open. Your head shouldn't be dropping back, so you could always build up more support if you need it. And the knees can just be here, bent, letting the knees drop in and feel good so that they're holding each other up. Or maybe we extend the legs forward so that they're wide and relaxed. Or you might even choose to go back into that Baddha Konasana pose, the soles of the feet together, the knees wide open. You might need some more cushions or props underneath the thighs there. But let's just take a few moments to cultivate that expansive breath that expansive awareness into the body here and allow this real deep opening. It's such a big, beautiful posture that is almost a counterbalance to life. It most certainly counters all that forward haunching and rounding we do in life from working, looking at our phones, or cooking, or whatever we do. We tend to be looking down, or we tend to be closed. And in moments of anxiety, fear, low self-esteem, we close even more. And here we're open, we're expansive. Breathe into that opening of the belly, the ribs, the heart. And in the opening, there's also a surrender. surrender, there's a sense of peace. See if you can cultivate that inner quality of peace with each breath. Cultivating that inner quiet, 
No matter what is happening, dogs barking, children playing, traffic, we can't control what is happening in our external world, what is happening outside of us, but we do have control of what is happening within us of our reactions, bringing awareness to our patterns, our reactive patterns, our reaction habits. And with each breath, choosing to move towards more Gentle sigh. Take your hands to the outside edges of your knees. Draw the legs in. Hug them into your body. And take your feet back to the floor. Roll yourself over to one side. And carefully and gently. Use your hands to push yourself. We're going to take away whatever we have that is unnecessary. We're going to take ourselves either to a wall, if we're going to use that, to your sofa. I'm going to use a chair. You can use a blanket to cover you. I've not demonstrated that or else I've covered myself, but anytime you need it, just put that blanket there to cover you. I'm going to move my chair to my <laughs> mat, to the end of my mat. And a very simple one, and if you're against a wall, it's the same thing. Do what I'm doing with the chair, but with your legs at the wall. Your legs will just be straight. We're here, the legs are going to be bent. So I'm going to move myself close to the chair, lie myself on the back, and then I'm just literally swinging my legs up the chair. It doesn't get easier than that. If you're on a wall, your legs are going to be straight. Let the heels rest. Good. So we're going to finish here. Again, if you're feeling a chill, put the blanket on it. Sometimes it's just very cozy to be bundled in a blanket. And if you want to elevate the pelvis, you can grab your pillow, your cushion, or even your bolster and place it underneath the pelvis. And that just gives us a little bit of a lift here. Do what makes you feel comfortable. Place your arms where they're comfortable. Maybe the hands are resting on the belly. Maybe the arms extend wide. Maybe, and sometimes I even prefer to take the arms up and overhead so that the chest and the heart still get this lift and opening. And then settle there into that breath. Settle into the breath of the abdomen, the belly the ribs, the chest. Settle the weight of your body into the ground. Settling into this still place within us, even as the world is spinning as fast, as crazy as it does. When we just stop, when we rest, when we turn towards the peace and the quiet that is there within us, we come home. And there's a sense of ease. The space opens up. Letting every breath turn us towards that place.
can stay here if you are comfortable for as long as you want. But if you're ready, we're going to take a deep inhale. And a big exhale, sigh. And just hugging the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze one more time. Maybe remove a prop if it's getting in your way. And slowly make your way to your side so that you can slowly arrive back into your seat to finish our practice. Maybe the eyes stay closed, nothing to see out here just yet. Bringing your hands to the heart. And just giving your head a bow to that place, that still quiet place that is always there. No matter how busy the world gets, or how crazy and maddening it spins, there's always that place of peace, stillness, of quiet. And we turn towards it with breath. And keep your practice. Namaste.